Well, good morning to you. Thanks for stopping by. Today I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to talk about what sold this week on eBay for the third week of August from the 15th to the 21st. I actually had quite a few sales. A lot of those, a lot of those clearance sales, uh, a lot of, a sh lot of short ones, but I did have one really, really, really big one, a couple of, uh, True Gather sales too. So, uh, I guess I'll just go ahead and get right started on it. So the first thing we sold then this week was, uh, just this West Bend uh, electric for a skillet plug, you know, for a skillet. So, and I, let's see, let's see, that cost me 28 cents. I listed it December 1st last year and sold it August 15th, and I got 12 bucks free shipping. Okay, next. Now, this was kind of interesting. I, these sat around, I think, for a little, a little while there. Uh, I didn't pay anything for these. I listed them April 1st last year, and I sold them August 15th, and I got 22.74 free shipping for them. So it's just uh, Tupperware sugar and creamer. I know if you look them up, you're going to find a lot of them that sell a lot cheaper than that. Sometimes 99 cents for the pair. So I, I don't, I don't, I don't get it. You know, I don't even know why I had it priced that high. But I, it's probably when I listed it, there was there was probably just something going on and there was a bunch of them priced higher but anyway so yeah so they're they're gone I got a good price for them I think all right next and this is just uh some people try to tell me this was a, a, a vase but I know that it goes underneath the punch bowl so although maybe it might be too small for the punch bowl but it if it, it looks like it came out of it looks like it, it goes right to the punch bowl so anyway I have this kind of upside down. I think I think that I think the the ruffle then there goes on the bottom, and then this end goes underneath the the punch bowl. So anyway, so I had this listed. Let's see, I didn't pay anything for it. This was free, and I listed it April twenty eighth, and sold it August fifteenth. I got ten bucks plus shipping. So that was good. Next. And fishing line. Let's see. I sold the... Uh, this was 50 cents. I listed it April 2nd. Sold it August 15th. And... That price is wrong. Okay. Hold on a minute. Okay. So, uh, yeah. I sold, I sold that for three forty nine, And that was plus shipping, so... Next, I lowered my prices on a bunch of those because I needed to blow them out, and it's been working. They're going away. This one, apparently, the picture doesn't want to work on. There we go. And, uh, again, I paid 50 cents, listed on April 2nd, sold August 15th. This this one I actually got uh, 323 for, and I ended up raising the price to 399 since then, but I'm out of them now, so next. This act, this sold on TrueGether. I had it listed on eBay as well, but uh, it sold on TrueGether. Let's see, big big buck hunter pro gun. I paid a buck for this at the Goodwill. I listed it June twenty eighth. Sold it August sixteenth. I got eighteen ninety five plus shipping on TrueGether for this. So uh, they typically, I have I've sold the uh, both guns with the sensor for it was either thirty or forty dollars. So this was just a single gun, and uh, I was pretty happy to get 19 bucks for it. So next, it's a Pyrex, just a little beaker glass. It's an old Pyrex. I don't, I don't know much about it. I think I got it. Actually, uh, yeah, I got it at a, a bag sale. I got it in a bag sale at the niche. So, or maybe not. No, I think I got it at Goodwill. I got it at Goodwill. It was 65 cents. It was a dollar 29. I got it half off. So. Basically about, you know, 65 cents. And uh, I listed it May 12th. I sold it August 16th. And I got 10.99 plus shipping. So, next. Casio calculator. This has been around a while. I paid two bucks for this. I listed it February 21st last year. Sold it August 16th. And I got a dollar. <laughs> so, I lost money. I, you know, I lost money on that. But... I needed to make it go away, so I did. So I got a dollar plus shipping. So um, lost money on it, but 
See ya. Next. Leprechaun 3. This was 50 cents at the Goodwill. I listed it March 22nd. Sold it August 16th, and I actually got 350 plus shipping. So, not a lot, but it, it went away. So, hold on. Well, that was just my wife calling me to ask me for directions to uh, the dentist. So anyway, yeah, the, um, I told you everything I need to tell you about this. All right, next. I bought these a long time ago. They were, um, let's see, uh, I actually paid three bucks for these, and they didn't sell. It's, <laughs> I had some other ones that did, so I made money on the whole the whole purchase, but. Uh, these particular ones, I listed these October October 29, 2015. So, and uh, sold them on August 16th, and I got three bucks plus shipping. So, feedback builder, I hope, and that's about it. So, loss leader, whatever, but whatever it is, they're out of here, so I don't have to deal with them anymore. So, next, and another another uh, fishing line thing. This one was. Uh, Let's see, I got 323 for this. Same thing, I, and I sold it on the 17th, so August 17th. So next. And these, there was actually eight of these. I, 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 when I first did the listing, I only had three, and I listed, listed it for three. And then I got uh, five more of them. So I went ahead and uh, put them all together, but I, I didn't retake the pictures. And before I had, I really had a chance to to get that opportunity to retake new pictures they sold so they are as you can see indiana colony sherbet they're they're sherbet dishes they're milk glass if you buy them don't be prepared to just get, get 50 bucks for them sometimes you got to wait a long time to get money out of, out of this pattern out of this thing sometimes you got to wait a while so anyway i paid eight dollars altogether for them so I paid a buck a piece at Goodwill. They're 99 cents each. So I, I bought them all. So, um, yeah. So I listed them June 5th and sold them August 17th. And I got $50 plus shipping. So I was really happy with that turnover. And I would do that again. <laughs> Next. I bought these a long time ago. Uh, just They're just little. They were just like little three. They're like three and a half inches wide. You know, so three and a half by three and a half. And uh, they're really pretty. And emerald greens are really that that forest greens doing doing a lot better now. If you knew how many pieces of this kind of stuff I threw away ten years ago, because they, nobody wanted it, they just didn't want it. You know, I, you, you, I, I sometimes I just kick myself for. Uh, but you know what was I gonna do with it? I mean, do I really want to store everything for ten years? So anyway, um. Yeah, so I sold two of them. So I paid a buck sixty for the pair, and I listed them. I listed them July nineteenth, two thousand fifteen. So I've had these around for a while. So basically, I am still around for a long time. So they've been around for a while, and uh, I sold it August seventeenth, and I got twenty bucks plus shipping on them. So I was happy with that. So next, all right. This is this is actually. I think I, I might have mentioned that stove that I took apart, that real ancient stove that I took apart. This actually went in behind the the control knob for the for the burners, and this thing actually, this stove actually had lights in behind the burners. And when you would turn them on, when you would turn this, the burners on, the lights would, the lights apparently came on. So really, really cool. That um, there's pictures of them on the web. You can see these old these old stoves. That are just just the neatest old things. But anyway, I had four of these, and so I listed them as, you know, four available for twenty four ninety nine, and somebody came along and bought them all at twenty four ninety nine plus shipping. And then they also bought the knobs, which I had up for $50. And so I got $150. I listed these. I didn't pay anything, just so you know. I listed them on... Uh, August 7th and I sold them August 17th 
thrilled. That was a great. That was that was that was a thrilling sale. I was happy to see that. So all right, next and more fishing line. And I paid uh, fifty cents. Sold it on the seventeenth, and I got four dollars plus shipping. So next, and the dish remote. I was happy to see this go. Let's see. I didn't pay anything for this. I listed it November third. Last year sold it August seventeenth and I got six seventy four free shipping. So there's not a lot there's not a lot of, of cash in there. Not much at all, but it's gone. Next. This went to Canada. This went to Canada. It was a Rolodex. I paid a buck twenty nine. I listed it June sixteenth, sold it. Well, I listed June sixteenth last year. I had it on. I'm not buying anymore. I don't buy these anymore. It's just I just have a few of them around. I, actually, I think I just sold the last one today, or yesterday. Sold it yesterday, I think it was. But anyway, so uh, yeah, so I so I I listed it last year and I sold it August seventeenth this year. I got four dollars and seventy five cents for it, and it went to Canada and they paid shipping. So <sighs> gone. It's out of here room to put something else where it used to be so next yeah them rolodexes they used to sell really great and then it just died right out unfortunately um, it died out when i needed it to not be dying out sky cycle 12 bucks uh, i think i'm gonna take this off real quick i think i just want to get this going So let's see. It's a, a Marvel Avengers Sky Sky Cycle thing. It's a toy, and I'm gonna make it go away. So they're only it's only five bucks less than what I'm asking. So they're ask they're offering twelve plus shipping. So and it's going to Pennsylvania. That's cool. So accept, accept. I think I probably paid five bucks for it or something like that, so I'm not going to make much on it, but it's going to go away. So that's that's good enough for me. Anyway, so then there's these CB CB playing cards. You remember back in the you know 70s, you see the, there was a big thing with the you know you know the song Convoy came out and everybody was into the everybody everybody had CBs and they had home they had bases in their home and and all that kind of stuff and they pregnant roller skate and and I remember that as a Volkswagen was a pregnant roller skate. So, you know, I was a kid though, so you know, I wasn't really into that. It was the coolest thing. So, but yeah, so I don't know if they still talk about it like that or not. You know, if they still, if the truckers still talk, I don't even know if they still. Well, my son's a tr he's a truck driver. He's got a CB, but I don't know how much they really use it now like they used to. So, anyway, so uh, this thing. Let's see. Citizen, I paid ten cents for these, and I listed them January January ninth, and sold them August seventeenth, and I got five five bucks for these cards, plus shipping, and I was I was happy with that. It's good to see them go. So that took a while. That's that that I think that's just the same one for that one that. That I sold. It's just a delay on that on those eBay chichings. Just you know, just a, I think that's the same thing. So anyway, yeah. So sorry, I'm a little distracted, aren't I? So next, this was in one of my haul videos once. Somebody gave me some good advice on this, but I don't remember what it was, which is a shame, isn't it? And it's land lands end. So uh, you know, it's a wool pleated. Uh, it's a wrap skirt. Um, Learned, I learned about wrap skirts anyway. Not wrap as an R-A-P, but wrap as an wrap around. So anyway, yeah. Yeah, so I paid 35 cents for this. I sold, I listed it April 1st, sold it August 17th, and I got $20. $20 plus shipping. So, and I, you know, hey, 35 cents. So, oh, there's the payment on that. I'll have to get that shipped today. Next. Well, I'll actually probably wait until later, probably this evening, and 
because it's today's today Thursday yeah today's Thursday today's Thursday so I yeah I'll get it shipped tomorrow but I don't want to do the label today during office hours so I'll do it later on so because I'm not going into town so all right so next more fishing line uh Yep, yep, three forty nine I got for that one. So plus shipping. So okay, next. More fishing line. Three that's three ninety nine I got this time. And uh actually this guy bought was it this guy? No, these are two different ones. Yeah, these are two different ones. I had one guy bought two and I missed it. It wasn't yeah, it wasn't this pen, it wasn't this way though. I missed that he bought two, so I shipped him the one. And then he emails me and says, Hey, uh Where's the other one? So I, I sent the other one out the next day. And he was cool about it. So I just, I just totally, I just missed it. So. All right. Next. More fishing line. Same thing. Different buyer. And uh, again, four bucks for this. So uh, uh, this was, uh, this was on the 18th. So next. And just a, a singer sewing machine cog for. You know, whatever. I don't know. I had these listed for a long time. I had them priced higher, like five ninety five or something like that. And finally I went through the, my underperforming listings and started started and some of this stuff is going there's leaving and disappearing and I'm I'm glad that it, it's going away because it just needs to go and even though I was getting those prices sometimes from time to time I just it's just time it's just I guess it's just time to blow things out, so Anyway, so I paid ten cents for it. So I listed it February fifteenth, two thousand sixteen. So it's been up over a year, year and a half. Sold it August eighteenth. I got a buck plus shipping. So I didn't lose money on it. Next, lost time on it. I guess you could say. But they all, they all listed really quick and really fast. So and this is just a home edX adapter. Let's see. Uh, I paid a buck. I listed it May 26th, sold it August 19th, and I got five bucks plus shipping. So next, these actually I sold these for twenty dollars. I paid, I think it was twenty. Yeah, I sold these for twenty bucks. I paid about two dollars for the whole set, fifty cents a piece, and I listed these. They've been around a while. I listed them. I listed them December 6th last year and sold them um, August 19th. I got 20 bucks, but the buyer was in Australia and he ended up paying, well, he, it was 60, to me it was $60 to ship, but for him it was like $105 altogether. Everything, the whole thing was like 105 Australian dollars, so... I kind of talked to them a little bit, and uh, he eventually decided he decided that that was really too much money, and uh, asked me to cancel the sale. And, and honestly, I was I was happy to cancel the sale because I did not want to send them to Australia. I thought it was way too much money, and I had a bad feeling. So, um, I'm 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 glad that I'm glad that he canceled the sale, and I still have them up. And they're listed for twenty nine ninety nine again, and maybe somebody will buy them full price here during Christmas time, and I'll send them to Pennsylvania, or Maryland, or New York. I'd rather not send them to California. That's still going to be expensive shipping. So, but if I have to, I have to. So next, that was my only canceled sale. Only the only that was the only negative I had on the week was that that canceled sale. There was no returns and no non payers. So this is the other thing that I sold on TrueGather. There was two of these uh, amber yellow depression glass. I really had a, I couldn't I couldn't get the yellow to come out very well, but that's how pale it is, pretty much right there. It, it, it's a very pale, a very pale yellow. It wasn't. Uh, I don't know if maybe you'll be able to see. There's the pattern. And if you look it up, that Madrid, that Madrid, that Madrid uh, pattern there, that that does seem to be a little bit more pricier. 
So anyway, these sold on, I paid $4 for them. And I listed them December 1st, 2015. So they've been up going on two years. And uh, let's see, they sold, let's see, August 20th. And I got $28.49 on plus shipping on uh, on TrueGather for them. This kind of stuff, really, you can sell it pretty cheap, but you're probably selling it to other, other resellers who are willing to wait on it and hold it. Maybe not. Maybe you're selling it to collectors too, but I don't know that there's a lot of collectors for this pattern, but the prices can be very, can be pretty good. So, anyway, I'm going to move on to the next thing. The next thing I sold was, yay, Cannon Jar Lid. Not too many of these. I'm not selling very many of these, just so you know. But that's okay, because there for a while I didn't really have any. I have, a, I have a few more back now. But So this one, I I paid $0.60 cents for this. I listed it June 21st, sold it August 20th, and I got $7.19 plus, plus $3 shipping. So you got to ask yourself, there's a whole bunch of these out there on eBay right now where people are selling them, you know, 18 of them for $6.99 and $7.99 and, and $9 and $15. So if you can get 18 of them for $15, a lot of times they have free shipping on it. If you can get them for that and you're having trouble sourcing, if you can hold stuff for a while, you know what I mean? If you can hold on to it, if you they don't take up much room. You can put them in a little plastic box somewhere and, you know, and there they are and just sit there for for a while. So... It's just a thought. I mean, you're not going to make a lot on them, but if you buy something, if you buy them for 20 bucks and you get 20 of them, so they're a buck a piece, and you make seven seven bucks a piece on them, or sell them for seven bucks a piece, and you take you know take the fees out, and if the fees are well, they're not that much. So, and then you charge shipping, and sooner or later you get people to buy them. So okay, next. I thought about doing it. Okay, this was the last the last one of these that I had. I bought these at Lowe's. I paid a buck a piece for them when I bought them. This was the very last one, and I listed these May twentieth last year. Sold this one August twentieth, and I got ten bucks plus shipping. So, and it's the last one. He's they're all gone now. So next, this came out of a Harry Potter scenic game. Again, the the scenic games, a lot of them, I'm, I'm the parts. I'm just, I just took them way down to a buck a piece just to, just to get rid of them because there's just too many of them. There's a huge glut, and and at least I think, at least it seems that way. So, you know, I could probably sell all the pieces together, but I already got the listings done. I could probably sell all the pieces together and get six, seven bucks maybe for them now, but, eh. So anyway, this this is the last one. Unless there's yeah, this this is the last one so of of the Harry Potter one came out of the Harry Potter games. I think I have some more of these in some of the other game from I still have Pirates of the Caribbean and I have some other ones. So anyway, uh let's see. Harry Potter seen it seen it you know, this Harry Potter seen it second edition. I paid 10 cents for this thing basically. And I listed it December 2nd, 2015. Sold it August 20th. Got a buck. Plus shipping. So, yeah, that's not where I price stuff, in case you're wondering. That's typically not where, I mean, I don't get on eBay to sell things for a dollar, but I want them to go away. So, yeah, I know I could, I could pack them all up and send them to the Goodwill or whatever. But, you know, I think this kind of stuff might pull people into eBay. Maybe. And if they buy this from me for a buck, they might buy something else from you for 20 bucks. Who knows? So, next. I had this around for quite a while, too. This is, it's an over-the-door, uh, hanger. You just hang it on the door, and it has those cool wooden knobbies on there. I don't know how old it is. It goes, it goes back a ways. I mean, you can see that, that sticker on it. It's made in the USA. Uh, knobby door made. Anyway, yeah, so this thing, uh, Oh, let's see. I paid three bucks for it. I listed it October 11th, 2015. A long time. What was I tired of dealing with this thing? 
it took up space. It was too long to fit where it was supposed to fit. And what a pain it was. It was I won't do it again. Just because it's a pain. But I sold it August 20th for $25. Plus shipping. I took a half price. I guess that's why I was around so long. I had it up for 50. Gee, burst creepers. So, yeah, I sold it for 25 bucks And, uh, plus shipping. So that was good. So, next. You know, I, I, <clears throat> this bag. Okay. <laughs> Look at it. I, I, look at it. There's holes in it. You know, it's, yeah, it's an L.L. Bean. And it's old, it's old, you know what I mean? But pictures don't want to load very quick. Come on, show me the pictures. There we go. It's rough. It's really rough. I had holes. Let's see if this is a hole. Yeah, see, it's, yeah, they're all kind of, it's all kind of rough looking, but... I got this in a clean out. It had some camera equipment in it. And honestly, the guy told me that he bought it, the camera. He bought the camera himself in 1966 when he went to go to college. So, uh, I have a camera listed too. But I, was, I don't know if he got this in 1966 or if he just used this to carry the camera around in. But it was rough. And it's been sitting in a barn for like 15 years or something like that. It's been sitting in a barn since 1985, I think he said. So... Um, I, I got the camera, I have it listed, I haven't sold any parts, I threw the bag up because, well, there's people, there's just people out there, you know, and so anyway, this bag sold for $20, and I got it for free, I listed it August 12th, sold it August 20th, so that was that, so, and they paid shipping, so next. Postcard four nine. I got these running at auction. I just keep, I just keep re relisting them when they end. You know because I have five hundred five hundred auctions a month to use, and I, I still have like ninety left. And today's the last day of the month. I didn't use them all, so um, so I just keep relisting them. And I'm probably gonna come up short in September too because anything that ends between now and the now and I go on vacation, I'm not gonna relist till after I get back. So. Anyway, so uh, hopefully nothing. I don't get any anything that I have to change my handling times on everything before I leave. But so, oh, uh, Dromoland Castle. I didn't pay anything for this. This was in my yard sale stuff that I got from my house. I cleaned out, and I was really just gonna throw these away. And I thought, well, they're postcards, so I'll just give them a shot. So. Five bucks. I listed it May 19th, sold it August 21st, and I got five bucks. So, five bucks is five bucks, right? And they ended up paying shipping, but I had to, they actually didn't pay shipping at first. They just did local pickup, and they live in Florida, so they can't do local pickup. <laughs> but, uh, people that I, I don't know, I guess they don't quite get that, so. Uh, so, so that's the second one of those I'd had with local pickup, but we got it fixed. So I think it was this one. Pretty sure it was, it was either this postcard or another one that I have that I sold. I'm not sure which one, but anyway, it was one of them that did that. So I had to cancel the payment and then I sent them a new invoice with the insurance. Well, I mean with the, with the shipping and they paid that and it's out of here. So next. I mean, this little doll, I ran her at auction, too. Been running her for a long time, and let's see. 80, 86 cents. I bought her in a lot of other ones, and when I divided the lot up, they, it was a lot, the lot it came up to 86 cents per listing, per, per item, even though I made all my money back on the other, the other other some of the other stuff that sold. So it's this is just really basically free, but... I have it down as 86 cents, so that's what we'll go with. And I listed it May 24th, sold it August 21st, and I got five bucks for her. So, next. And there's the other postcard, and that was five bucks too, so, plus shipping. So, alright, next. This is a little, a little plastic Thomas the Train car. I ran these at auction. I think I had the other ones ran for auction too, but, uh, I paid a 
buck and I listed it July 19th sold it August 21st and I got ten dollars plus shipping next and these came out of that that big box of Barbie doll accessories that I got for eight bucks. Um, this is just one of the listings that came from that. So I paid sixty two cents for the lot and sold it. I listed it July eighteenth, sold it August twenty first on five ninety nine plus shipping for that little all those little trinkets and doodads. So next. Aunt Martha's dot transfers paid fifty cents, sold it for a buck, and they're out of here. Plus shipping on those. So next, had them listed for a long time, and these I got at I got these at the um, I got these at the niche in a bag sale. Paid fifty five cents, and I listed them August twentieth, sold August twenty first. They are a cute little kitty. See, there's a cute little kitty there, and they're playing cards, and you can see it says Chessie System Railroads. So we have the railroad collectible, we have the cat collectible, and we have the playing cards collectible. So you had three different groups for this thing, and they didn't last very long. If I ran them at auction, I might have got more, but maybe could ask more. I don't know. I'm happy with what I got, though, so 55 cents. And actually, I ended up. I ended up. I didn't get ten bucks. I got seven fifty for them. I took a best offer. Happy to see them go away. So next, go to a new home. Duct tape. I have a bunch of this around. I got it at Walmart. I paid seventy five cents a roll, and it was selling a lot better than it is now, than it is. I I, I listed these June eighth, two thousand sixteen. And I haven't hardly sold any of them. So, I mean, I got these, the zebra ones, I got mustache print ones and some other ones and haven't sold much. So, I sold this one on August 21st and I got two bucks plus shipping. So, those are probably lost leaders coming in. So, all right. So, for everything I sold this week, I paid $38.33 and... My gross sales was five hundred and twenty-three dollars, minus the twenty bucks, minus the twenty bucks for the item that uh, did not, that I ended up canceling. But hold on a minute, I gotta see if I can fix this. This might not be right. All right, let's go here to here. Hit some. Okay, that was right. Here, here, sun. Okay, so minus the twenty bucks, it's five hundred and three dollars, basically. So five hundred and three bucks for the week. That, that that's that's fine. That's that's pretty good for me. So, but you got to remember though, if I hadn't been for that hundred and fifty dollar sale, I'd have been at four hundred bucks. So. It wouldn't have been quite so good. So, obviously things are picking up a little bit. I made a bunch of sales during the night. I sold the oldest thing that I had listed. Actually, this morning. I was When I was packaging stuff up to go with my wife to the post office. While I was packaging it, I sold a little ice cream scoop that I've had listed. I, it's, I don't know. It's... I don't know if it's the oldest thing I've listed, but it, it's the oldest thing I have listed in my spreadsheets. It was the oldest one I had listed in my spreadsheets. So, and that was, I forget how long ago. It was, it was a while ago. It was 2015 something. So, if I have anything older than that, I don't have a record of when I listed it, but I guarantee I, it's one of the oldest things I have left of the things that I listed. So, I was happy to see, really happy to see that go out this morning. That was like a, a milestone to see that sell. So, all right, that's it. That's everything. That's all there was. So, uh, thanks for watching. And if you haven't already, and you've made it this far, you might as well hit subscribe because.
there's something that kept you here. So anyway, I'm glad you stayed. I'm glad you watched till the end. And uh, that's it. So just keep listening and keep making money and have a great day. Alrighty, bye.